God is good <laughs> and his mercy endureth forever. You know, he wants us to receive his mercy, receive his goodness, to grow in that mercy and goodness, and to give that mercy and goodness to others. That's what Living Room Church is all about. It wants to help you, your dreams, your life, your family, receive from the Lord, grow in the Lord, and be able to give to others, to make a difference in this world. You know, I was reading the other day where it says the number one medical epidemic in the United States of America right now is loneliness. People feel lonely. They feel abandoned. But you know, Jesus said, when you receive me, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. We are called to minister to, to these people like Daniel who wrote in a 22 year old. After watching your session on Born to Win part two, I realize the challenges I've been going through have gotten the best of me. It seems I've gotten too comfortable with losing. There's a lot of Daniels across the world that need to hear the message of Jesus Christ, that their identity is true, it's solid, it is unchangeable, that God has created you to win, to overcome and be victorious. We are going in over 100 countries. A lot of those people are young people. A lot of those people are the Gen Zs, the, the millennials, the all different ages. But we are reaching the de-churched, if you've ever heard of the de-churched, people that have given up and they think, oh, I don't know, I don't know if this is even real. And they're coming to Jesus and they're getting hope. You're part of that. We need you to stand with us, to walk with us, to pray with us, and also to give faithfully so we can go into those 100 countries, into those lives within those 100 countries, and see people feel not alone, feel loved, accepted, and know who they are in Christ Jesus. Thank you for standing with us. We bless you. There was a man that wrote in that partners with Living Room Church Ministries. He gives faithfully and he said, thank you for allowing me to be part of such an amazing God-centered ministry. God is doing a great work here. I'm glad to be on the train. Thank you for being on the train. You can give in all sorts of different ways. Thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, thank you that we're alive today. In such a hopeless world, we have the privilege and the honor to bring hope to people that they don't have to feel alone, they don't have to be alone, that you're there for them and they can know who they are in Christ Jesus, 100% victor, 100% winner. Thank you for that, Lord. Bless the people, open their eyes, their ears and their heart to hear, to receive your goodness and to be blessed in Jesus' name.